Hi everyone, it is the end of May. It's actually almost Memorial Day. Tomorrow's Memorial Day and I wanted to just take a few minutes to let you know about my May favorites. Um, first favorites, they involve my hair. Um, my hair is really dry right now. I colored it a lot um, and tried to keep the health on it but it needs a little more help so along with getting um, haircuts when I should be um, I'm trying some new products to kind of help with the health and the condition of my hair. So my first favorite is the Moroccan Oil Restorative Hair Mask. This is, it's a thick conditioning mask. Um, and I use it once a week with a really hydrating shampoo. And what I do is wash my hair and then put a nice generous amount of this mask on my hair for 10 minutes while I'm in the shower and let it sit and then um, <clears throat> of course you rinse it out and what it does for my hair is it makes my hair look shinier it makes my hair feel softer and it helps the condition of my hair um, I don't have nearly as many flyaways when I use it um, and my hair isn't as frizzy it just calms it down a little bit and the Moroccan oil it has a smell that's really familiar to me and I don't know what it is but it's a nice smell it doesn't smell like an oil I don't know I expected this to smell like incense or something and it doesn't um, I can't explain what it is but this stuff is amazing and worth it um, so I love that and you know like I said once a week I use this um, and then um, because it's been the weather is nicer outside and the humidity is hitting DC um, I don't straighten my hair a lot to begin with, but um, it's even more difficult to do it in the summertime, especially in D.C. So um, I wear my hair natural a lot, let it air dry, um, and I've been using the um, Moroccan Oil Curl Defining Mousse for curly and wavy hair. And what this does is, first of all, I love that it, the frizz diminishes so much with this stuff it's weird you know you put it on and the frizz is, is just gone and it's not just for the first day that you use it but you know for the days after and as far as your hair being curly it's not tight curls like some mousses they're really loose beachy looking curls and I really like that a lot and it also has a nice smell and this mousse is a little different it's not it doesn't foam up like you know how whipped cream looks when it foams this is loose and almost watery. It's the strangest consistency. And, you know, just squeeze a little bit in my hand, work it through my hair, take a wide tooth comb, and, and comb it through after I've washed my hair. And my um, next favorite for the month is favorite that I think I had back in December, and it is the Smashbox Wish Palette. And I was trying to check the Smashbox webpage to see if you can still get this. I'm not sure if you can. I picked it up at Ulta. But I traveled a ton between... Um, April and May and this just made packing so much easier as you can see it comes with a number oops, a number of eyeshadows there's these are blush shades two blush shades a bronzer and a highlight which is great you pull this drawer out and you have to, you have eight glosses which are very nice and they are pigmented so they're not sheer and then on the other side pull this drawer out and you have all of your brow waxes as well as eight different gel eyeliners and then so you have your brow color and then the brow wax which is really nice so all I need to pack really are my brushes um, my foundation and my concealer and my moisturizer and I'm good now this set it does come with brushes but I didn't like them that much they were just kind of like you know the cheapy brushes which is fine you know I, I don't think this palette really needed them and I know around the holidays I paid 60 bucks for this, but it's it's so worth it. I just keep it in my travel bag, and it's one less thing for me to think about. So, next up is, um, I found this brush and sponge cleaner by Sonia Kashuk at Target. It was 5 or $6. Um, what I like about this is it's really good for cleaning your blush brushes, um, any of your face powder brushes, anything, you know, eyeshadow brushes, it's really great to get those cleaned. Um, what you do is you run the brush under some water, um, take the pump, spray um, this wash over the brushes, 
work it in, and then rinse flat to dry. And, um, you know, it's rare to find an inexpensive brush cleaner at the consumer level. Um, once you're further into makeup, it's a lot easier to find different alternatives or just different ways to clean your brushes. And um, it was nice to see this at Target. Um, I don't like this for cleaning off cream products like eyeliners, cream eyeliners, but for your other brushes, it's perfect. And the price point is great because one of the biggest things with makeup is good skincare, and good skincare starts with clean brushes and with clean skin. So this is a definite pickup if you're looking for a brush cleaner, and it's very easy to use, and it really does clean up. Also, what I'm loving is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush. And mine, this is what it looks like on the outside. That's Tarte, and you pull it open, and it has the Amazon River imprinted on the blush. This color is called Tipsy, which is um, a peached coral. Um, I love the Tarte blush sticks, you know, um, the gel blush sticks, but they didn't last really long for me, and they felt kind of sticky on my skin, and I just didn't look at them again. And when I found out they were putting Tipsy, which was my favorite color for those blush sticks, in um, a powder form, I said, I have to try this. And it says that it lasts for 12 hours on the skin. It's a long wear blush, and it really is. Um, the color itself, it's not heavily pigmented, which is really nice. Um, I can wear it for work, and it lasts all day. It really does. Um, and I want to pick up some more of these because... You know, with the weather changing, you need things that are going to stand up to it. And thus far, the Amazonian Clay Blush has. So this is a great favorite, and that's the Tarte Amazon. My next favorite is uh, a nail favorite. And right now, of course, the Crackle Polish look is really popular. And, you know, for a while, I thought I was over it because I had been doing Crackles for a while. But then, you know, Crackle colors started to come out. And I kind of gave it a second look and decided, okay, I can I can work with that. That's different. And Sally Hansen has what's called Crackle Overcoat. Um, I picked this up at CBS for $7.39. And this color is called Antique Gold. And this color, it's a gold. And, of course, you know, it has a crackle effect on your nails. You put it on over um, a nail polish that's dried, give it a few minutes, and it cracks. And um, this color is really pretty because it's like a metallic gold. And I like using it over blue shades, um, teals, um, murky green colors. I really think. And it's a little more subtle than the black. And it's a little different. Um, what I also like, you know, the price point for this is $7. And crackles are pretty expensive. So $7 might be the cheapest I've seen it thus far. Um, it lasts a really long time. Um, so, yeah, that's a good buy. And, you know, fun if you want to do, like, an accent nail, like your texting thumbs. That's a fun place to put crackle. Or, you know, like on this finger. I don't know what this finger is called. It's next to the pinky. But this finger? Yeah, that's a good one to put it on, too. Just like an accent finger. It crackles really, really well. Some crackles are dud where you might get one crack. And that's not that fun. So, I like this a lot. And my final favorite for the month, um, I think last month I said how much I love the MAC Care Blends Press Powders. Well, with the MAC Surf Baby Collection, they've made Care Blend, I don't know if they consider them bronzers or powders, but it's called Studio Care Blend Press Powder in Gold Go Lightly. And what I've done with this color is I use it as a bronzing shade. And this is probably the most natural looking bronzer I've ever seen. There is no shimmer in it. It's so natural. It's really easy for someone who's afraid to use bronzers because it's just so easy. It's natural. Um, it's really hard to like make a line of demarcation. You know what I mean? To see that noticeable blush line with these. For beginners, I think these are great. And this is probably one of the lightest colors I've ever seen in regard to a bronzer. So that's worth trying, um, and it goes on like butter. It's so soft and silky. It stays on really well. So that's and that's my last favorite for the month of May. Let me know what your favorites are. Um, have you tried any of these products? What do you think of them? I'd love to know. 
and I will talk with you all again soon. Thanks so much. Bye.